we had many people that were seeking for that seat. Mm -hmm. We were voted in. And so I believe, um, I mean, you don't go into politics unless you really believe mm -hmm. you're the best. I mean, yeah, yeah there, are, there, are, there, are, there are issues mm -hmm. as it were. And um, like I have said in the past, I, you know, there's a bit of uh, that in me. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we came in, we, we had all these grand ideas mm -hmm. for the county as a team. And now we are not really sure where we stand as it is. So mm -hmm. it's not a very exciting moment for me, but we will deal with it as it comes. It is not an individual's vision because the strategic plan that we adopted as a county was actually initiated by the Mbere, no, not Mbere, Mbere and Embu, we're calling them Embu, Embu Professionals Forum. Mm -hmm. They came up long before the elections and, and like put ideas uh, on how they would want their county run. Mm -hmm. And so when we came into office, we had our own pledges. So we matched that document that the professionals had prepared and our own vision, and we came up with one uh, document. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the county integrated development plan, which we have developed mm -hmm. together with the community. We, we, we subjected it to, to participation by the community. Mm -hmm. So we listened to people, we tried to just fit in the ideas with our own ideas mm -hmm. because it's about them mm -hmm. um, and, and that's a document that you're working on so it's not an individual's document and like the CIDP yeah there are, there, are, there are issues as, as it were and um, like I have said in the past I you know there's a bit of uh, that maybe it's been a fast one okay so I was always you know leading the pack uh -huh. and like I said we are we, we, we are seven so I started with, with, with a team of seven. Wow. <laughs> then it grew. Mm -hmm. Throughout school, I think, um, you know, the schools I went to, I always was a prefect. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in primary school, I went, I went to boarding school. I was a dining hall captain. Okay. I was in Sacred Heart Kini. Then after that, I went to Kini Girls. I was a home science lab prefect. Then in KU, where I did my bachelor's, mm -hmm. I was a class rep. Mm -hmm. Even when I went for my um, when I went for my um, uh, masters, I was still a class rep. So I think it is just natural for me to. I think it was it was not it was not difficult. It was something that I have done over the years. Uh, at the moment. Um, Incidentally, again, the village in me, mm -hmm. I, 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 I like uh, making changes right here. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to be around. Around? Right. Yeah, I, I want to see development at this level mm -hmm. because that is where you connect with the real person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a leader who gets a hundred percent support mm -hmm. because uh, you will always have people of a different opinion. Mm -hmm. But if you can get over 50, 50 plus one, <laughs> and I think ours is more than fifty-five percent support, then I think we will be able to to survive. Mm -hmm. Just make life easier for the women by engendering the budget, mm -hmm. having programs that take the burden off the women of Embu County so that they can have more time to concentrate on other issues like uh, economic empowerment issues. Because if you look at the average rural woman in Embu, and Embu is basically a rural, uh, a, a rural county, um, most of them uh, spend a lot of their time fetching water. Maybe someone leaves in the morning, comes back at whatever time. So how do you take that burden off the woman, provide water, then she can have more time to do other things. If she is maybe walking six kilometers to access health for their child, health care for their child, then bring that uh, service closer so that she can be able to be served in less time, then you free her to do other things. And the women of this country are very hard, hard working. Yeah.
my vision for the county. Mm. One is that I think for me, uh, there are four key areas mm. that I think need to be addressed. One is education. I, I, I strongly believe in um, good foundation education because I think we all where we are because of education. That for me is very key. Mm -hmm. Second is uh, food security because I think um, especially uh, if you look at the lower side of the county, there's a lot of drought and when you look at the weather and the way things are, food security is, is an issue that I think need to be addressed. The third is infrastructure. That is very key for me, that is roads, water, electricity. Because when you sort out uh, infrastructure, then people can pretty much do the rest of the stuff for themselves. When you do a road, people can transport their goods to the market. When you do electricity, people can open their small businesses. So I think that is also very key. Mm -hmm. Then health, mm -hmm. because if people are not healthy, then I don't think they're going to be able to do much. What the county government can do mm -hmm. is sort of limited um, in terms of uh, what they can do in the education sector. But we are dealing with a very key area mm -hmm. that is uh, preschool education. Mm -hmm. And um, there is a space. I think there is a space. Mm -hmm. If we can enhance and improve on that, then there is a space. Mm -hmm. There is still a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I look at people like Ngugi Wathiongo. He's a great writer working in the U.S., writing books even in Kikui. Why not teach your child? Mother tongue, I think it is it's a good idea. If you ask me, I look at uh, maybe like people of Asian origin living in Kenya, never have been to India, but they, 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 they speak in their... I don't think there's a problem with that because you never know what a child is going to be. Maybe they want to be a poet. Maybe they, they'll do their poetry in mother tongue. So why not open all the all the avenues for them to grow, and don't just teach uh, Kiswahili and, and English, mm -hmm. teach even other languages. I think it is okay. We, women and men complement one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are just everyone. Just the way we are wired, and, and that is that is that is normal. They're just things that men don't see and the woman sees, and they're just things that women don't see and the man sees. So you need all of them on board. And, and we're trying that, actually not trying. We, 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 we even have, um, in our Ministry of Gender, we have been trying to bring men on board to address certain issues. We have a program that we call Shuja Dad, because we realized there are issues that we have been, we women have been talking about but the problem is not really with the women, it is the men. We need to bring them on board, win them over, so that they can influence, because our society is patriarchal. The only thing I would like to say, maybe just to add up, is that um, uh, to urge Embo, this is for Embo County residents, to add them to, to, to stay peaceful, to uh, focus on development and uh, um, just be. I, I want to see a county that is cohesive. Just to look for cohesion in this county. We are one people.